I see cars rating of longest lasting pickup trucks. Toyota loses top spot to Ram. You may be wondering why Ram uh, seems to be having trouble everywhere, but they are definitely top rated and longest lasting vehicles. So let's take a look at this list. Uh, you've got Ram at a 42.6 chance basically of uh, hitting 250,000 miles. This shows the uh, compared to average. The Tundra's number two, Silverado 2500, GMC 2500. So if you look at these vehicles, other than the Tundra, Tacoma, and Ridgeline, these vehicles all have something in common, well, other than being American brands. But these are, these are primarily business use vehicles. Like a Ram 3500, that's like something you'd have like for a tow truck body or you'd have a, uh, a box on it. So what this is, is these are uh, basically commercial vehicles being compared against uh, regular consumer vehicles. So like, uh, I, I mean, sometimes you'll have like, uh, you know, some somebody will buy a Silverado 2500 for a personal vehicle. But a lot of times that's pulling a trailer, uh, especially the 3500. It's more of a work vehicle. So what that is, is, you know, like F-350. What that is, is they're uh, using it for work. So they're putting miles on faster and there's a, a real maintenance plan behind it. So if you're driving a, let's well, say, a tow truck or, or whatever, um, for work, you're putting the miles on faster. So the corrosion doesn't have time to catch up to you. So you're a lot more likely to hit the 250,000 miles if you're driving this vehicle for work. I mean, think about like some of the, how fast some of the police cars put on miles. I mean, they're just moving all the time. So these are the, uh, the work vehicles, basically, that are moving all the time. So that's why... Uh, some of these are hitting the uh, 250,000 miles so easily. And, of course, uh, the trucks, I believe all except the Ridgeline. I, th I thought the Ridgeline was like a unibody, but I think everything else has got a frame on it. So any of these trucks with a frame on it, hey, everything's replaceable. Um, you get some corrosion. You've got a possibility of fixing it. I, I guess if you rust out your Ridgeline, you you've got a much harder time trying to save it. But in any case, uh, if you want to hit 250,000 miles, your use makes a difference. Uh, if you're going to put on, you know, 10,000 miles a year, you're not going to see the same return on investment that somebody does that puts on 50,000 miles a year. Um, possibly outside of the Rust Belt, yeah, you'd have a different story. But up here in the north, uh, the faster you put the miles on, the more likely you are to hit the high numbers. But I thought this was interesting with the Ram 3500 uh, being the highest. Um, some of the people I know that buy um, commercial vehicles, um, the Ram has been something they've been forced to go to for certain things. They'd had uh, some of the Chevys and some of the other things before and just the, uh, the options aren't there. So they've had to buy the, uh, the heavier duty Rams for commercial vehicles. But that would be why they're getting on so many miles is because it is commercial vehicles. They're driving it for work, and they are putting those miles on fast. All right, that's all I got on this one. Thank you.